Hello guys! Loud explosions were heard today in Luhansk. What is important, we have neutralized a dislocation point of Russian army in this very temporarily occupied Ukrainian regional center, and we have targeted a machine building plant that invaders have reconstructed for the repairments of their tanks and machinery. So this is very important because Luhansk now is close to front lines and they use it as a platform for repairment, supplies, renovation of all they need. And by destroying that, we actually succeed in paralyzing Russian army. Below the news in the comments, I've read lots of questions from Ukrainians and also from our foreign friends. Maybe these are the signs that Ukraine has received Taurus missiles, Storm Shadow missiles. Actually, I doubt, but there was definitely a missile that targeted this machine building plan that they used to reconstruct evil Russian tanks. And in this video, I want to tell you more about the events in Luhansk today. And also, I feel it's very important to remind the world why we need to return all Ukrainian territories back. And no, this is not just about justice. This is also about the safety and security of the world. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Explosions were heard in Luhansk today, especially near the machine building plant and in its territory near because this is the place of location of Russian army and they use this plant that actually works since the end of the 19th century now to repair their evil machinery. And by destroying this plant so close to Ukrainian front lines, we definitely cause lots of trouble to invaders. On the videos generously shared by media illiterate Russian soldiers, we can see the very big smoke of explosion and very likely it was a missile. Many ask whether these are storm shadows or Taurus. <laughs> we do need these missiles and I'm sure with their help, we could have liberated Crimea and all the occupied territories in a month or two. Just imagine how difficult it is for my Ukrainian heart and for my Ukrainian mind to accept the knowledge that there are enough of these missiles that we can use at least on our 1991 border territory and nothing. So it is very likely it was not a drone. But I think a Ukrainian missile that was modified and targeted a Russian army dislocation point. And also, it is super important to liberate all of these regions, not just because that's the way we have to do, according to all international agreements that define all of our borders. And you all remember, it's a very bad habit to... Um, redesign borders because by doing that we can actually lose the planet and reach this moment of total war at a certain uh, peak in time if we continue like Russia. Many countries have histories of being empires, many of your countries had totally different borders but at a certain moment in time taking into account the lessons of the first and second world wars we've accepted them and that's the way we should live. But it's not just about justice. Though people who watch these videos and are not yet subscribed, please do demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. That's the easiest but still very effective way to spread more information about my beautiful and brave country in these really challenging times. So it's not just about justice, returning Luhansk, Donetsk and uh, Crimea to Ukraine. It is also about safety and security. Why? Because we see that in Crimea, we see that in Luhansk, Donetsk and territories of Kherson region that are temporarily occupied, they use them to build up Russian army, to uh, store supplies and even to repair their evil tanks. And when we give them these 
territories, we actually help them restore, rebuild, regroup very close to front lines. What many people choose not to think about is what happens if they continue getting more of Ukrainian territories and more of Ukrainian people who also stay, many of them stay on this temporarily occupied lands. It is not, once again, about geography or moving closer to the borders of NATO countries or European Union countries. What they do goes against all the laws of war, but they start mobilizing these people who are under their occupation and they plan to use them at this moment against Ukraine. But if it continues that way and if Russia is not stopped, they will mobilize more and more Ukrainians in 10 years, 20 years to attack adjacent lands. I'm not saying that's what we want, but that's what Russians do against all the laws of prisoners of war and the way invaders actually act with people on the occupied territories. Russia is evil and Russia has really bad, big plans to invade very many countries, not finishing with the borders of Ukraine. I know it may seem crazy, but life in Soviet Union was crazy. And that, I don't use bad words, but I would love to use the worst word, that Soviet Union existed for decades and people accepted that. But at the same time, many people suffered and died even behind the Iron Curtain on your territory. And when Putin says, and Medvedev repeats, that they Russia does not have borders, this is actually the message that they send us. That's why I hope sometime soon there will be lots of Taurus missile and Storm Shadow and Atacams and Patriot systems that will help us clean the territory from invaders and give them a very vivid lesson that democratic world is stronger than authoritarian. This is a message that Russia desperately needs right now. And I want to thank Germany for giving us one patriot system. We need like more, but this is a very good signal. The Netherlands for supporting us and many other beautiful countries. But remember, this is not borrowing. This is not spending your money in vain. This is an investment in a future safe world. And if you want to make another good investment in the safe world, do check our new NAFO campaign with 69th Sniffing Brigade for a tank battalion within the 57th Brigade. The link will be pinned below this video and you can also find it in the description. There are two beautiful patches that you can choose. You can buy two of them and uh, actually one more campaign coming soon. I will announce it. Anyway, uh, we also have beautiful offer sale on our merch shop with minus 14% and lots of good items that work well as conversation starters. Continue speaking with your representatives, with those who doubt, with neighbors, with friends, with loved ones. Please persuade them this is not a local conflict. This is not just about Ukraine and Putin actually speaks about that loud and clear and his allies in Iran, in North Korea, and unfortunately in China. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons, but most importantly, thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!